Oh, all over again. Ah, uh, I should say it is uh, Monday the 17th. The boss is back in school again. Probably just a sliver of rock that broke off, I don't know. Did I, did I find this arrow point before? Yeah, I think I did. Something that got broken off. Is there anything unique in here? No.
No, that was that was a nothing. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. Now, there's something about this shape. That is a, a shape that you will find common to a lot of early paleo cutting tools. Uh, we'll say, for example, uh, a handle will go across the top and you could use it in a sawing motion or a chopping motion but they will put sharp edges on the bottom in other words turn it into an axe or an adze something like that an ulu, an axe or an adze that's how that would go No, no fossils. Well, it's easy to tell this is sedim sedimentary rock. I almost said sedi sed sedentary. <laughs> Silly me. Yeah, it's sedimentary. Well, no fossils, no points. I, I don't know if that's actual points or accidents or what. Sea worms. Well, this is not an accident. That's a highly specialized point. Oh, looky there. Yes, this is indeed a Paleo-Indian artifact.
out. That last little piece had a lot to do with, I will say, Well, here's a Paleo Indian body face. Or archaic period body face. Because it, yeah, the Paleo Indian and it's an archaic period. They run, and for this region of the world, it runs from, say, 10,500 years ago until, well, <laughs> I guess uh, um, until the uh, Micmac became Micmac, that's what I'll say. But that is a biface. It still needs working on to turn it into uh, an actual real tool. Oh, it's hiding in here. You never know. This is limestone. Well, uh, that was no accident. At one time, this was, uh, we call it discoidal stones. And what they would do is they would put edges around three quarters of all the side, or edges around it, and then you could use it for, well, processing fish, meat, stuff like that, cutting wood, and it would be your all-around cutting tool. Uh, yep. What am I looking at? The ghost image of... It's a ghost image of a, a splintered off shred that resembles and that lateral head or a spare head of some sort <laughs> yeah that, that was interesting Okay. I'm going to guess this is part of the armor that was dropped in. But let's see if anything got trapped around it.
or if any artifacts got trapped into it. And I don't look it. It might be. What's this? Well, I think that is a, a, a an archaic period point, an archaic woodland point. I remember I told you that certain there was certain cultures that you, they usually left one shoulder on for easier to help with holding the arrowhead into the arrow tip into the front of the arrow shaft. Okay, let's step over here. It's getting going up more and more. I'll be, I should be able to get out to the other point. Work my way up here a little bit. I'm surprised. Well, I'm not surprised that I haven't found any more of that fossil coral from the Devonian period because that strata is so rare it's like putting a needle in a giant haystack and then saying go find it find anything it's going to oh see this fine wet silt is so slippery you can fall at any second now this There was fossils and anything would be in here. This is a lot of limestone in there. I don't know. Well, let's take a peek with this rock. Hard to see. Nah. Well, there's no literally apparent fossil, so I'm not going to worry. Okay, I'm going to 
Get into this mess and head over to the other side.